Hello and welcome to another update video about Koti. Some exciting things are happening since the major drop. Last video I did on Koti was here and back then I told you we will attempt another breakout. It was very likely. We did attempt another breakout above the 40 cents. I saw the breakout coming. I told you about that because of this ascending triangle, which basically means that the sellers can't push the price lower. And this is by the way, the four hour chart on um, Qcoin is the exchange. So we put that uh, ascending triangle on the chart here last time and saw the breakout coming. You know, these are never guaranteed to happen, but with an ascending triangle, it's likely that you get a, a breakout to the upside, which happened, but these sellers were too strong. And that is what you can never predict if it is a fake breakout or a real breakout. What's always important to watch is the volume. As you can clearly see here, you didn't have the volume at the time. You didn't have the volume. So it was actually clear when watching this, that this breakout would most likely fail. So just a bit of education for you guys. When you watch these happen, watch for the volume. And by the way, if you want to learn about technical analysis, follow the link in the video description that takes you to my second channel in which I talk about technical analysis more as a tutorial. And there are different lessons so you can watch them all, of course, for free. Now, what happened then? We broke down and that is when the Bitcoin flash crash took place. We also put on the chart this trend line and had you wanted to get out, this is where you would have um, yeah, basically exited your long position. Um, and when we went down there, of course, we had strong support here based uh, on the 200 period moving average on the four hour chart. And since then, we've been making higher lows and also higher highs. There was a little bit of a fake breakout here as well. But since then, we've made higher highs and now we've, um, we're just about to break above a crucial level as it seems. So this was that um, local structural high that we had, this sort of fake breakout. And the wicks have taken us to 30, well, pretty much where we are now, 33.7 cents. And we are now just above that. We are just above that. Seem to retest that here. And we can take a look in the hourly chart to see that a little bit better. And it looks like, um, it looks quite good actually more at the moment. So we seem to be breaking above that level here. That is pretty much, no, sorry, it's here. We are above that level. I try to make it a bit clearer here. That is now support level. We of course need to watch, you need to watch that level. If you want to um, observe this more closely, does this hourly candle, well, it's gonna close in a minute. Um, it seems to be closing above that level. That's really bullish in my opinion you know, a, a long trade would now be good. I think we've broken now above a crucial level, but please don't consider that financial advice. Always come to your own conclusions. We are making another higher high as it seems. And um, we, we we are going up anyway. I mean, Cody is, uh, in my personal point of view, Cody is a very um, good project anyway, long term especially, but also I think shorter term and um, sort of if Bitcoin behaves, because that is crucial, but shorter term we, we are going up here, um, in my opinion, and probably sooner than later, we are going to attempt another breakout above 39 um, cents. So that's that's what I think. I think if we now go up, there will be, um, here, let's take a look on the hourly. I think there will be further resistance here at this point, which is 34.6 cents in that range, because you had a lot of um, resistance here already before. And after that, if we manage to get above that, my view is that we will face some resistance here. It's a crucial level here as well. That is the 36 point back here, 36.6. Um, but the next major one, of course, is that 30, pretty much 39 cents. That's what we need to get above guys. That's the crucial one. And if we get above that, you know, we can, we can, we can see very nice moves to the upside. That has been our main resistance here. And we want to get above that, but I'm very bullish on, um, very bullish on Cody. You can see it on the hourly as well. Uptrend here, the DI line is positive. The RSI is making higher highs. Yes, we are overbought. Might now look at a bit of a sideways move, but um, this can also go up to 90, especially for cryptos in a, in a, in a bull range. We're making higher highs on the MACD, the last two, no, the last candle has cooled down a little bit, but um, 
on the four hour chart. Let's see if that can be confirmed. Even on the four hour, we've crossed the zero line today. So that is bullish, a bullish cross as well. Again, the RSI is making higher highs again since that um, low here in the oversold range. So we've been moving to the upside. And here, what is going to happen? We are going to um, move here on the four hour chart ADX, the trend line is getting above the 20, which is a, the, basically the indicator that we are in a strong trend above 20 or 25, some people um, call it. So that's looking really good. And again, looking at the indicators on the daily, they look a bit weaker, but again, here as well, we've just made a bullish, you can call it bullish cross, or we've bounced off that red DI line. So again, bullish momentum here, we are getting there. And it looks like we are, might be making a reversal here on the ADX line, which is the trend line where we are now getting back to a trend on the daily as well. Still making um, lower highs here on the um, RSI, but I think that is because it is lagging behind a little bit and we've seen obviously the price drop. So um, on the four hour chart we are making, and on the hourly chart we are making higher highs now again. So that's good. And um, yeah, I think there could be a trend reversal coming here on the MACD as well. So for me, Cody looks extremely bullish. Um, I, I've been talking about it anyway. I've been talking about it since it was, I think, at 13 cents. So it's all looking good with Cody anyway. And I think we're going to attempt um, probably sooner than later another breakout above 40 cents or 39 cents. That's an update on Cody requested by you guys. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, where it is going. And by the way, I just see that here that we've made a bullish cross. Again, a golden cross that we will see with Bitcoin in the next few days as well where we have the blue, is it a bullet? Yeah, here. And that happened yesterday. That happened yesterday, that golden cross. And again, golden cross, 12% in the positive, in the green. So I've been talking about a golden cross coming for, was it VeChain, I think, um, Algorand and Bitcoin. So let's see, that all looks pretty good. All right, hopefully you liked that update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.